Hello there, welcome back. So let's talk about the leaked Hivestorm pricing. I say leaked, it apparently comes from the, um, the pre-order email that retail stores get. So this is, you know, you can take this as being as true as possible. So we've got US prices, which are confirmed, and the UK and the EU prices, which are kind of an educated guess. Um, this isn't my leak. This has been reported widely this morning already. Um, but yeah, I'm just covering it. I've seen it on Facebook, on Reddit. Uh, I've seen other YouTube videos about it. So yeah, there's lots and lots of different um, sources for this leak. Um, but I can't name any of them because, well, I don't know who, who, who it originated from. Um, but let's get started. So Hive Storm Box is reported to be 230 US dollars. Now, educated guess for the UK and the EU is 145 pounds or 180 euros. Now, this is around about 20 dollars or 15 quid more than the last Kill Team launch box, which was Into the Dark. Um, I I've got no opinion on that really. We know that the prices are increasing and that kind of thing. The only point I'd make is that it could have been better, it could have been worse. So it, it that pretty much falls in line with what I would have expected. Um, but having said that, we'll quickly cover what's in the box. We obviously get two kill teams, uh, 10 units for each kill team. And then we have um, a two kind of a, a smaller unit. For, so we've got the turrets for the scions and then... Um, for the uh, for the insects, we've got the kind of little towel drone sort of thing. We also get the core the core book for kill team and the hive storm dossier. Uh, the core team the core book is being released separately at launch. The hive storm dossier assumed it will be released on its own in a couple of months time, along with uh, a kill zone for the stuff that comes in this set. We also get a lot of terrain. Uh, I am. I like the terrain that comes with this. It is similar to other things we've had in the past, but yeah, ex expect this to be released on its own again in a few months' time. These are the pre-order bonuses. So the ones on the left, <clears throat> excuse me, those are bases with built-in wound markers on them. Um, you get mostly, I believe, let's have a quick look actually. Da -da 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 -da. You get 10 of them for 28 mil, one at 25 mil, one at 40 mil. On the right hand side, we have wound markers. Um, so those have got areas for 2d6 in there. So you can track the wounds of your units as well with a little pointer towards them. Uh, both are pretty nice. Both are good for pre order stuff um, if you are lucky enough to get them. So, yeah, enough said on that, really. Right. So the core book is being released on its own. But what I like about this is that it comes with the the token set to just get on and play um, Hive Storm. So normally you would just get a core, a core book on its own and, you know, you it would be referring to lots of different tokens and all that sort of stuff. This time you get the token sheet in with the book, which I think is a good idea. Um, that is priced at 60 US dollars. So that's going to be about 40 quid. Um, which is a lot for me. It's, it is a hardback, a hardback book, um, but it's not going to be massive. You know, it's not going to be as big as your forty k rule book or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it does have the tokens with it. What can I say? Uh, so that's going to be around about fifty one euros. Next up, we have the equipment back again. This comes in the core set. Um, that is forty five dollars. So will equate to around about 28 pounds or 35 euros. Now for some kind of slightly annoying stuff. So the approved ops card pack. So this does appear in the core set. Um, there is no price for this. So it's probably gonna be a online only GW product. So you just have to go onto warhammer.com and order it from there. So therefore we have no pricing for it, I'm afraid. Um, and the same goes for the Kind of individually released kill zones, so Better Decima and Gallo Dark, they are being released separately on their own, but there's no pricing for it, so they are going to be an online only GW product. Okay, and then next we have all the individual kill teams. 
Um, so there's quite a few of them that came out from the last edition, and I'm going to go through the pricing now. Uh, what I will say that is that on the images, they will have data cards. The data cards, unfortunately, are a GW or Warhammer online product only. So there's no pricing for those because you can't get them from your local retailer or anything like that, or, or your online retailer. Um, so there's no pricing for that. I will just take a little minute there to just plug my Element Games affiliate link. Uh, thanks massively to those who if you who used it last month. Um, yeah, I'm touting it again. So if you want to support me, the best way to do it is, of course, with a subscribe. But other than that, use that affiliate link because it really helps me out. It's in the pinned, it's in the pinned comment, and it's in the description. Right. Okay. So the Jukari Mandrakes, they are eighty dollars. So it's going to be around about fifty pounds. Uh, 65 euros so the only difference between these and the other boxes that have come out before uh, so it is the full kill team from the last edition the only thing is that in these individual boxes you get a little sheet of um, of tokens as well a little punch board with tokens on it so they are a little bit more expensive than they were previously but not a massive amount that for me though 50 quid for some mandrakes that's a uh, yeah that's a lot of money Okay, so the next one, Nemesis Claw. So again, no price for the data cards. It does have a little sheet of tokens in there. That is $75, £47.50, or €65. Euros. Orc Commandos. I don't think this one is actually... I think this one is a kind of a uh, an educated guess in terms of pricing based on the rest of it. I don't think it's actually got... a a price that's come out and um, but so the educated guess on this is 70 dollars 45 pounds or 60 euros the space marine scout quad scout squad so this is confirmed pricing for 80 dollars um so educated guess on that is 50 pounds or 65 euros uh, the hirkin jaegers that is 65 dollars so it's 42.50 or 55 euros Corsair Void Scar, this one again, I'm not sure if this one is confirmed, uh, but $65, £42.50 or €55. Euros. Uh, back to other confirmed ones, the Blooded, I love the Blooded to be fair, um, €75, Euros, uh, £50 or €65, Euros. sorry, $75, €65.5, Euros. 50 pounds and finally we have the brood brothers the brood bros 65 dollars 42 pounds 50 or 55 euros now that is everything i've got pricing for today uh, the bane blade audio book audio books we don't get to find out until the prices until they go live so that is that uh, and then <laughs> we have some awesome plushes again no pricing on these um but they do look great, you know. I, to be fair, I'd probably never buy one. Um, but they do look pretty cool. And then coming up on Warhammer Plus this week, we have a new episode of The Tithes. We learn more about painting fur and that kind of thing. And we have a Kill Team battle report for the Hive Storm box. So very much looking forward to that. So in terms of, for me, I will be picking up Hive Storm. Um, I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually bought, so I used to collect everything, now I'm very, very selective about what I get, uh, so the last GW product I bought, except for issues of uh, the Combat Patrol magazine, um, was the last, it was the Age of Sigmar launch box, basically because I wanted it to play Spearhead, I wanted those two Spearheads in it. And I was happy with this per with that purchase. This I think looks pretty good. A new edition of Kill Team looks slightly more stripped down from the last one, which I like. Um, but I'm interested in this. I probably won't go ahead and buy any of the further boxes. I'll probably just stick to the launch and then um, leave the rest alone. But I suppose it depends on how good this is. If this is amazing, then maybe I'll be all in again. But there you go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Much appreciated. Like I mentioned earlier, the best way to support the channel is with a subscription. 
uh, and of course by using my Element Games affiliate link, which can be found in the usual places. But I appreciate you watching. I will catch you later. Thanks doubly to the guys that have stayed to the end. I'll see you later.